Hey, this is Miss Lana with Noble Root Herbs. Um, it's been a minute <laughs> since I've done a video. So anyways, um, I wanted to touch base on some uh, kind of like exterior and interior beauty regimen type of supplements, teas and, and things of that nature. Um, so I want to touch base on vegan product testers. Uh, I was invited on a Facebook group called Vegan Product Testers, which is pretty awesome. Um, you get to check out different um, supplements and foods and different things, even like uh, reusable bags and things of that nature um, on Amazon. And it's completely free. You just have to sign up and then they would send you the money via P PayPal. And then you would take that money and then you'd purchase your stuff from Amazon. And then after that, you test it for one to two weeks and then you would fill out a survey, uh, your honest opinion, of course, and go from there. So the first uh, type of, of product or supplement I received was the Vita Authority Plant-Based Collagen Booster. You can see that. There we go. And this collagen booster has lemon powder, tremella mushroom extract, coconut water powder, uh, pomegranate extract, emla powder, Cam and Camu extract, kiwi extract, special uh, total ORAC blend, hydrolonic acid, and it is vegan friendly, lab tested, all natural, plant based, non GMO, dairy free, zero dyes, and zero fillers made in the USA in a FDA approved facility. <sighs> Woo, say that. Anyways, so pros and cons of this uh, natural lemon, uh, pink lemonade flavor. I liked it. I thought it tasted a lot like pink country time lemonade from when you're a kid, but this is like a healthier version of it. Um, and it's not just for hair, skin, and nails. It's also for your joints. And I was looking in the market for a collagen type of powder that wasn't bovine uh, derived. And voila, here is one. I'll show you kind of what the powder looks like. And I already mixed up a cup to show you. So it kind of, I've been using it for over two weeks now. But it comes a little scoop and you do one scoop you can do two the first week I started with two scoops and then the second week I did one scoop but obviously you're gonna go through this faster if you do two because it's uh, 30 scoops in um, one jar so it is gritty but just like all supplement powders they're gonna be gritty anyway just like if you do protein powders or plant-based powders like beet powders and things of that nature you're gonna want to get one of those shakers and just really really go at it or what I like to do is I like to put it in my liquid of choice, shake it up in like a mason jar and put it in the fridge overnight. So by the time I wake up in the morning, I'm going to have my supplement or make my smoothie or have my drink. It's already dissolved. It's kind of what it looks like. It's kind of looks like uh, dirty sink water, <laughs> um, but it tastes really good. It does. Just like pink country time lemonade. I have, I did put it in smoothies and things. I do drinking it. I do like drinking it just as is. Um, it, it was a little sweet for me. It, it suggested like four to six ounces of water. It was like way too sweet. So I went ahead and put it in anywhere from eight to 12 ounces, made it more palatable for me. Cause if it's stuff's too overly sweet, like I get my little spurts where I really want something really indulgent. And then most of the time I'm like, Bleh, I don't want this. So for seven days, I did notice a difference on my forehead. The skin up here, my pores were kind of big for a while. Um, I was about, whoops, I was in my 20s and I was living in Florida and I got, it was like the first little bit that I was down, that I lived down there. And I got a really bad sunburn. I was having some beers on the beach with my brother. And, uh, anyways, so I had a really bad burn on my forehead and right in, in between my, my bust here. And it was a pretty nasty burn, but luckily, you know, I was putting a bunch of aloe vera and coconut oil and uh, olive oil at the time. And I was doing uh, apple cider vinegar, I think, to take this thing out. But anyways, this was years and years ago, like 2004-ish. And ever since then, the, the pores on my forehead had always been kind of big. And I had tried everything. I tried doing like the different, you know, not fillers, but like the different lotions and all this stuff. And um, nothing really seemed to work very good, but I guess maybe it was my collagen. Because uh, after seven days, I noticed the pores got smaller. It was interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I didn't really change up a whole lot in my face cleaning regimen during that week. 
But I did notice a difference in my skin clarity and my hair looks super shiny. Like super, super shiny. So I do like it. Because I stopped taking my normal tea to test this. And my normal regimen is the hair, skin, and nails tea from Southwest Herbs. And Southwest Herbs was the shop that I did my apprenticeship at with Kathy and with Madeline. And this has oat straw, alfalfa, horsetail, raspberry, nettle, lemon balm, and mint in it. And it tastes, I like it. A lot of people that aren't really into herbal teas aren't huge on it. Um, but you can always sweeten it up uh, with like a citrus or like another mint and just put a little sweetener in there like honey or your Splenda. Or you could do like, um, what is it called? Monk fruit powder. Something to kind of sweeten up makes it a little bit more palatable. But this is what I, this is my normal go-to and I love it. I live and die by this. Uh, I had bought, like, I think this is my last bag. I usually, when I go in there, I try to buy two bags to three bags of something. And this is my, <laughs> this is my last bag. So I'm going to have to go down there and have a little visit. So, yes. So back to this product. I gave it a, I gave it a four star. I'm going to tell you why. I, I did, I noticed a difference. I like the cause it has. I like the, uh... Uh, ingredients. The ingredients are great. I love how it has all these different little badges on it. You know, it's, it's all good. It's all good. But it's not a recyclable container. <laughs> Why? Uh, that's what bummed me. I don't want to be nitpicky. That's like the only thing I really didn't like about it is, is, you know, they have this huge mission about, you know, this having no chemicals and it's lab tested and there's no dyes. And then you put it in a container that is not recyclable and that made me upset um i did put that on the survey to let them know and i will 100 percent buy out of my own pocket my second one once they get a different container i'm really picky if i can if, if i can help it um to get the recyclable ones because one they won't have as many harsh chemicals in them and you know these go into warehouses the warehouses get hot and when plastic gets hot, they happen to get condensation sometimes in there. The oils, because plastic is made of oil, <laughs> has chemicals that have gases in them and leach into products. And people don't always think about that. Plus, it's like if you're a plant-based person or a vegan or, you know, vegetarian or paleo or whatever is going on in your world, most likely most likely you're going to be recycle like you're going to be a recyclable type of person you're going to be accountability type person where you're going to want to take you know charge in the environment you're going to be an environmental kind of person and i just kind of thought that it just it really just bummed me out so hopefully they'll change that soon i'm, I'm sure that they just wanted to get these out to people but come on <laughs> you know like like the chia seeds is a good example so this is, this is like a one recyclable, so it's not going to have as much crap in it. It's still plastic. I try to, to only buy um, cardboard, paper, thing, things of that nature. I try to stay away from plastic as much as I can, but it's almost impossible sometimes, um, depending on the things that I need to get. And especially with all the things going on right now, not every single item that you want is going to be there, right? So um, other than that, it has a four star in my book. I noticed a difference. It wasn't just the placebo effects. I've been taking it for two weeks. Or maybe it could be. I don't know. Um, and the taste was good. Like, I, I could see myself buying a big canister in a recyclable container and, and enjoying this. And it costs about $32 for this. Um, but for this first jar was free for me. So... Um, my other, my other go-tos are, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the chia seeds. So this is the Better Body Foods or the BBF. <laughs> and this big old jar, uh, did come from Amazon because they didn't have it at the health food store that I usually go to, which is uh, Nature's Grocer at the time. And this was about six fifty. So that, that's all. I mean, this is two pounds, two pounds of this for six fifty. And yeah, these are great for, you know, the, the omegas. I think this has 5,350 milligrams of omega-3s and 5 grams of protein. Protein, obviously, is going to keep your hair bouncy. It's going to, you know, keep you fuller longer. Um, <clears throat> it does help with weight loss because, again, keeps you fuller longer. They're, they're whole foods, and, it, and it's going to expand in your stomach much. Kind of like, it kind of reminds me of cat food. 
I know that's a weird thing to say, but they eat these little pellets and they expand and it keeps them full. So my other um, type of thing that I like to do is, an, is a tea. This one's a tea and this is matcha tea powder. And if you go to their website, which is ujido.com, they have like all the little fixings for you to, you know, whip it up with a little matcha tea set and everything else. Um, and it has the information on the back, like the special tea seeds were given uh, to a, a learned Buddhist priest named Meo Shonen, a plant on the grounds of the temple near the Kyoto. And the special tea leaves are made um, into a green tea powder called matcha. The Buddhist monk found that matcha had exceptional health and spiritual qualities and used this tea to increase focus and chi energy for Zen meditation. So I was drinking this religiously when I was working at an office because I really was trying to get off the caffeine. Um, I don't really drink a whole lot of it. I detox. I think I talked about it on a few videos. And um, I'm glad I did because I just need a little bit of caffeine now to feel the benefits of it. Before I was drinking like almost gallons of coffee and basically going to sleep. It was pointless. My adrenal glands were so, uh, you know, just worn out. So this is a great pick-me-up. And as far as the content, the antioxidant content, I believe it has 1,864 on the little scale of like um, acai berries, dark chocolate, wild berries, pomegranate, goja, and broccoli. A matcha has the highest content of that. And it's super smooth. It looks like baby powder. It's, it's very fine powdered. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this, but I'll show you anyway. but it's very, very fine powdered. And I like to mix it into my smoothies. And then I also like to drink it hot. Um, well, now it's gonna be getting really, really warm because summer's on the way. But I really, really enjoyed the flavor. The flavor was really nice. And what's cool is you can also cook with it. You can make matcha green tea rice and you can add it to different soups and stews to kind of give it an earthy kind of flavor. Um, you can use it as a natural coloring agent for different desserts and things of that nature. You can get really like really fancy and do like a matcha ice cream, um, which is, is actually really tasty, believe it or not. So with the antioxidants that this is packing away, I mean, when I quit smoking, my skin got kind of bad because it's pushing all the stuff out of your, you know, your body. It's trying to heal. And I noticed when I was drinking my green tea, my skin wasn't suffering as much during that detoxification time. And I noticed when I was on the road to quitting smoking, I've been uh, smoke-free for over three years now, believe it or not. Um, the tea kind of helped cut my craving. I would drink the green tea and I wouldn't crave as... I mean, I wasn't a heavy smoker anyway. I'd smoke like four cigarettes a day, if that. And I was usually just putting a half of them out, blowing through them, and then putting them down. So I wasn't even that heavy of a smoker. When I was much younger, I was a very heavy smoker. Um, but my skin never looked bad. I just have good genes. My mom, you know, she's almost 70, and she looks like she's in her 50s. She looks 20 years younger than she really is. So I just lucked out with the, in the gene department. But also having my arsenal of amazing supplements and nourishing types of teas and seeds and powders, um, you know, is, is really what's going to be my saving grace in the future. So I did want to share that with you. So I'll go ahead and give this a four star. Um, and if you do sign up with the uh, vegan product testers, you won't regret it. And I just wanted to, to give a shout out to them because I have, uh, I think, a protein powder or something that's going to be on the way soon. I'm really, really, really stoked to try that. And yeah, chia seeds, I know that they're kind of the trend. It's, it's funny because when I was a kid, I really wanted to eat these. And my mom, we had a chia pet. She's like, don't eat those, they're poison. You know, and then what kind of alternate reality do we live in where we eat these to be healthy, you know? Um, but they've been eating them since, what, the Aztec times? So, sorry mom, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love you. <laughs> and then your green teas. You know, um, whether you get this brand or not, they have some really expensive ones, by the way, but whether you get this brand or not, this is a great herbal ally. Green tea is awesome for, you know, antioxidants, a pick-me-up. It's been shown to reduce 
cancer in smokers. They did a like study from dating back, I think, from the 50s up until now in Japan. And I think Korea as well. But don't hold me to that. I know Japan for sure. And they noticed that they had way less um, lung cancer patients that because they noticed a correlation with them drinking the tea. And then your local herb shops, you know, or you could uh, get hold of, you know, your fellow herbalists if you need something. But yes, your local herb shops. Support your local herb shops and herbalists. They will always have an amazing blend uh, that they had came up with and for good reasons. So something to check out. And they also have a wonderful website. Or you can always give them a call and, you know, say that Lana or the crazy herb lady sent you. They'll know exactly who you're talking about. And yeah, that will conclude my, my uh, array of items. And if you liked this video, please like, subscribe. I think you're supposed to ding a bell. I'm really kind of new to YouTube. So yeah, I really appreciate your time and I hope you all have a happy, healthy, wonderful day. And just remember, wellness starts at the root. Take care. Bye.